Right, the next thing we're going to work on is assembling our fuse box. So, um, what you're going to do is you're going to cut out one of these motor sticks. Like so. This should pop straight out. These are made from fairly uh, soft, light balsa. Very uh, beefy material though. And you can sand off any of the inconsistencies on the top if you like. And the bottom. And then, we're going to take, if you notice there's a, um, a peak here. Um, I would put, I'm putting that back here um, at the back. So this will be your nose up front. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is that means we're going to attach if I can get everything off of my hands we're going to attach our nose bearing underneath there and we're going to put a hook at the back. So um, let me get some glue real quick and I'll show you how to do that. So um, with your nose bearing, I personally, uh, particularly for the rules this year, I like to get the uh, nose bearing far away from the motor stick because you want the center line of your propeller shaft spaced well away from there. And the, um, the rules this year allow a beefy enough airplane um, that you're not going to see a lot of motor stick flex under load. So you can stick it, uh, the farther you stick your motor away from the uh, fuselage, the more bending moment it has. Um, the, these motor sticks are very stiff, so you won't see a problem with that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to this um, uh, to this sheet of 1 16th balsa that your ribs come from, and if you measure this top part of the uh, prop hanger, you can just cut out a little square of wood, and we're going to glue that to the bottom of the motor stick. Now the next thing we're going to do is, if I can find it, look at our um, propeller shaft wire here. Hang on a second. So we're going to take this piece of wire and we're going to slide it into our prop bearing here. Um, and one thing you'll notice with this one is kind of sitting rigid on here. I've got free movement on the front, but not on the back. So what you want to do is the um, is take this wire and you see it. It'll only go so far in here, and you can just grab it, twist it the other direction ever so slightly. And now we'll go in there. Now it freely turns on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that piece of wire back in there because I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. And we're going to put glue on the top. Actually, before you do that, um, sand the top of this guy a little bit. You can see it kind of uh, removes the, the shine up there. Gives you a better gluing uh, surface. I'm going to put glue on top of that. And now, I'm going to take this propeller bearing, and we're going to mount it. And the reason we've got the wire in it is we want to set this so we have some left thrust. So if you see, I don't know if you see the angle um, that I've got this at. But the, looking from the bottom, the um, wire crosses over this way. And this gives us left thrust. So now it's fastened in place. Now, before I bind this guy in, I'm going to come up here to the top of the motor stick. I'm going to cut it back kind of like that. So you see about that angle. And that just gives me a little bit of uh, more clearance uh, for the prop. Now we're going to take this uh, the spider wire we've got here. And get 
piece of tape off of me. We're going to take this and tie a little loop in it. There are a variety of ways you can do this. This is just one of many. Um, but what you want to do is kind of tie this off up top. And now you're going to wrap this. You can see how I'm um, coming up here. I'm just trying to tie off the overall assembly. And now we've got a, a fairly strong attachment. And so all I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to rub CA glue all into that to lock it down. And I'll cut my um, excess here. It doesn't take a whole lot, um, and so just make sure you don't use up all of your uh, all of your spider wire at once because I only got so much of it. If you do run out, let us know and we'll get you more of it. Now your propeller bearing is firmly attached to the front of the airplane. Now the next step is you're going to take this wire and I recommend that you use a pair of round nose pliers. Uh, however, you can also use uh, the regular kind. Uh, but we're going to take this and we're going to bend it down and refer to, in the instructions, there is a pattern for, for, for making this component. Alright, so I'm going to go in about a quarter of an inch. I'm going to bend this back around. Now let me find a, um, something brightly colored so you can see the shape that I have created. So it looks like that right there. So now we're going to come up here. And we're going to take regular pliers from this point on. So I'm going to show you how far up we have grabbed this. Again, refer to the drawings and they'll show you how to do this. So that's where I bend this wire up straight. So I'm going to show you where we are now. We've got this shape. And now, what we will do is we'll fit that to the back of the motor, to the top of the motor stick here. And right there, we're going to grab it again. And bend it across. So now we have this shape right here. where I bend it down and snap it off. And that leaves us with that shape right there. So now we can take this, this hook and we take that part right there and we're going to drop it down into the top of the motor stick. So we have to come in at an angle to do this. Oh, let me show you the end frame. Here we go. I'm going to come down and pull it in. So it looks like that. Now I want to hit this with CA glue real quick. And you will have a gusset in your parts sheet. I Neglected to include one in this one. Um, I'm sure, I have a piece of wood that fits in here, like so. so. Let me glue it, and then you'll be able to see what it looks like. to bind this um, rear hook in place. Right, 
so we have all of this coming together. And now we're left with complete rear hook like so. So now our next step is we're going to take our tail boom assembly, which is right here. And I'll go ahead and drop this guy out. So there is an overlap that is shown on your plans, I'll refer to that for how far to overlap this guy. The other thing is you're going to want to do something to help you align it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, um, I'm going to use my, my tail jig here, and now I'm going to take the sheet that my motor sticks came from, so that now these, uh, let me slide this in frame, here we go. All right, so since both of these are the same thickness, this is now parallel across here, except what I want to do is I actually want to uh, offset it a little more. So I'm going to take two of my um, spar material pieces, I'm going to set those down here, and this is going to give me left rudder. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up to where the bottom of the tail boom is parallel with, um, with the motor stick. And again, remembering the amount of overlap we need here, um, half an inch is enough. Um, I'm going to set this in here. And now, there you've got your uh, tail boom attached to your motor stick. All done. Okay, so now is a, a fun time. You can take a moment to admire what your plane is going to look like because we know the wing is going to go up here. We know that is going to go back here, and you can't really see it in the frame, but there you go. So, we'll proceed to the next. <laughs>